um, and it didn't get a whole lot better right through the end. At, at three nothing or four nothing, that game's over, and they know it. And uh, so they maybe didn't have the same urgency, but. Hey, well, I, I got two jobs. One is to prepare my hockey team, the other is to run the bench, and that team wasn't prepared to play. There's lots on me. I mean, I didn't see it coming. Uh, couldn't make enough adjustments to make it change. Couldn't hide people on the ice enough to keep them off the minus sheet. So I'm not looking at that room. I look at, uh, at how what I did to get this hockey club ready because it wasn't good enough for this league. No, you know what, Ken, we, we can tear that apart, game apart and just give me a list of what's involved in a National Hockey League game from face-offs to set plays to guys in behind. To there, there isn't a piece of that game that we were good at. Um, and maybe that's, if, there, if we have to sit here today and get, get a silver lining, if you're going to be bad, you might as well be bad in all parts of your game. So then you have a hope that you can write that one off. Uh, but we were, like I said, we weren't re ready to play uh, the game that uh, the game of hockey, we weren't ready to play the Boston Bruins style of game, knowing what they were going to do and how they were going to play. And uh, I'm not in there. I'm not in the reading them the right act. I got to get to uh, get my act here together because we weren't ready to play. Is this the very best thing for your club is that you get on the ice 20 hours from now? Um, well, we're, I'm going to let you know in about 22 and a half then. Uh, we we got we got to answer for this with our effort and with our with our mental preparation. I've got to I've got to find a way to get that hockey club ready.